Hello data pros, and welcome back to another exciting video in our Databricks learning series. If you've been following along, we set up a Databricks Community Edition free account, and explored some hands-on lab exercises in our previous videos. As we move forward in the series, we will need to explore advanced features that are not available in the Community Edition. So, in today's video, I'll show you how to create a free trial Databricks account and walk you through the enterprise-grade UI. The key difference here is that the free community account allows you to explore Databricks forever with no time limits, but not all features are available. On the other hand, the free trial account offers access to all features but is only available for 14 days. Let's dive right in. To create a free trial account, you must have an account with one of the cloud vendors. I'm demonstrating this on Azure, but the process is quite similar across other cloud vendors as well. As the first step, please log in to portal.azure.com. From the home page, select Azure Databricks if it's available. If not, simply search for Databricks and open it from there. This page lists the existing Databricks workspaces in your subscription, and you can also create a new Databricks workspace from here. Workspaces are typically created for each business unit or department within the large organization. Additionally, within each business unit, separate workspaces may be needed for different environments, such as development, testing, and production. On this page, please select your subscription. Then, select an existing resource group or create a new one, depending on your preference. Next, give a name to your Databricks workspace. Choose a region that is preferably closer to your business for optimal performance. Now, for the pricing tier, you'll see three options, Standard, Premium, and Premium Trial. Azure Databricks offers two paid pricing tiers, named Standard and Premium, where the Premium tier includes all advanced features. For a detailed comparison between the Standard and Premium tiers, please refer to this official link in the video description. For my case, I want to set up a free Premium Trial account, so I selected that option. As far as features are concerned, both the Premium and Premium Trial accounts offer the same set of features. Please click Next. At this point, we don't need to change any of these settings, so just click Next. Once ready, click on Review and Create. This will run some basic validations, and once complete, the Create button will become active. Once the Create button is enabled, go ahead and click it. Please allow some time for the deployment to finish. Great, the deployment process is now complete. You can click on Go to Resource over here. Or for subsequent accesses, right from the home page, open Databricks and launch the workspace from there. We have successfully reached the Databricks Premium UI. If you closely observe, the Community Edition and Premium Edition offer the same core features, such as Workspace, where most of the development happens, Compute, where clusters are managed, and Experiments, for setting up ML projects. However, the Premium tier also includes many advanced features like Workflows, Dashboards, Alerts, SQL Warehouse, Delta Live Tables, and more. Additionally, Premium Tier also includes powerful features not directly visible on the home page, such as Unity Catalog, Role-Based Access Control, Delta Sharing, and more. Some of these terms might be unfamiliar to you right now, but don't worry, we'll explore each of them in detail in the upcoming videos. That's all for today. Please stay tuned for our next video where we'll explore more Databricks topics. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to take your career to the next level. Thanks for watching.